So today I'm going to be testing out some of the well-known money making methods and seeing which ones are actually worth doing. So let's get into the video. If you do go on to enjoy the video and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. There's really no reason not to and if you do find me annoying in the future, you can just unsubscribe. Also you should leave a like on the video, it lets me know that you actually enjoy the videos and it also boosts the video in the algorithm. And finally, my Discord server is the top link in the description, you should join again, there's no reason not to. Anyway, let's get into the video, I hope you all do enjoy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out a few of the most well-known money-making methods that you'll see coming up on YouTube. I'll see how long they actually take me to complete the money-making method, how much money we get from it, and at the end, is it really worth your time? Is it worth bothering? For someone like me who pretty much just mainly AH flips, it'll be interesting to see how other money-making methods actually fare. So let's get to it. So the first money-making method is actually a bizarre flip. Um, we're going to be flipping super compactors, I think. Yeah, these super compactors. So we're essentially going to craft them, uh, buy the items to craft them, and then craft the super compactor and sell it as a super compactor. Um, so I'm going to go through how much it's going to cost per unit and then we'll just see if it's worth doing really. So here's the crafting recipe, we need 7 stacks of enchanted cobble and um, 1 enchanted redstone block. So for 7 stacks, so 448 enchanted cobble, we can put an order in for around about 370k per unit. And as for the enchanted redstone block, about 32.5k per unit. So it comes out at just over 400k. Bearing in mind that we can sell them on for around about 35k profit per unit. On face value, it seems like it's quite lucrative, quite profitable. Um, we're going to try it out and see how long it actually takes for them to sell and so on. So we're going to try and make 20 units. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put quite a big order in for this cobble. Okay, so we'll put the order up. So that's 7.4 mil. And then we'll put the order in for the enchanted redstone blocks as well. So 20 of those, 646k. And now it's time to wait. Let's see how long it takes for these orders to fill. It's not going too well so far. Okay, so it's now been uh, just over 10 minutes and all of our orders have filled. So I accidentally claimed some. Um, nevertheless, as you can see, they're both 100%. So what we're going to do is collect all of these, craft them into the super compactors, and then list them up. I'm going to keep the stopwatch running just to see how long overall it takes to do this. Okay, so there we go. We have all 20 crafted and now we're going to list them up. Okay, so we're going to create the sell order for 8.629 mil, which means we'll profit around about 550k. It's just a waiting game. Okay, the order already filled. That was literally instant. Um, so we have... 8.629 mil to collect. So we've gone ahead and collected those coins and yeah, quite easy 550k. Um, took us 13 minutes. Now obviously I only did 20 at a time. Um, you could do 100 at a time. It would obviously just take a bit longer for the orders to fill. At least that gives you a bit of a rough idea anyway. To be honest, um, I mean it's very easy to do. If you put a big order in, you can just come back. I mean you don't have to do anything in between. It's just the... I don't know, minute you have to invest in the first place, actually putting the orders up. It's very passive and you can't really complain with 550k profit. So I definitely recommend doing it if you have this cobblestone 10 collection. It's quite good. And to be honest, I don't usually like bizarre flipping, so it, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a change. And to be honest, in terms of bizarre flipping, I mean, it's all the same. You can do so many different methods like crafting whale baits really good although i don't have the fishing level to do it, all the fishing collections to do it well, that makes a lot of coins or oh, crafting enchanter lava buckets is sometimes profitable i mean there's a lot of different ways but at the end of the day it is bizarre flipping it's it's pretty straightforward but yeah in all fairness it's a pretty good method i probably recommend it so next up is going to be grinding zealots we all know sunny eyes are pretty expensive at the moment um so it's it's probably well worth grinding zealots right well i'm gonna find out I'm going to grind zealots for 15 minutes, see how many eyes we get, and then we can see sort of how much we get per hour. It's pretty much as simple as it gets. It'll be interesting to see. Obviously, one of the main differences between this method and the last one is that it's not passive. Like, you're not, you're actually grinding the game at the same time. So, whatever floats your boat, really. So, I just finished grinding the zealots. Um, I got 48k just from kills. Um, we didn't actually even get one summoning eye, which is pathetic nevertheless we can sell everything for 39k it's not looking too good i mean that's quite 90k so it's about 360k an hour just from basically killing and drops but in terms of summoning eyes i mean that's pretty unlucky even though this time zelda grinding was not good i can't say it's bad because they say it is literally just luck but at the same time this is what can happen Whereas that bizarre flip that I did earlier is a little bit more guaranteed, but I guess at the same time you've got to think you're also getting combat XP from grinding zealots, 
there's pros and cons. I have had eight summoning eyes in one hour before, but that was extremely lucky. I'd probably say usually you probably get around four or five over an hour. I just got unlucky then. And overall, it might not make much sense me saying do this method, but I still would if you are an earlier game player. Um, but yeah, a little bit unfortunate. Anyway, this is going to be just about the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, um, then make sure to leave a comment and I'll maybe test out a few more different mon common money making methods and see what they're like. But yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.